But yeah, your great name. Um, I, I had no idea that the song would do really what it did. I knew it was special on conception. You know, Todd, what he did is he he sent me this voice note. You know, he, he has a good habit of sending voice notes of his songs. And so he sent me the song. He's like, we love to call you. And I'm just like, right away, that melody just stuck with me. And right then I knew like this song was a smash, you know, but what he sent me was a verse and chorus, you know, in a memo file. And I'm like, okay. He's like, Benjamin, I don't, I don't know where to go. I don't want, I don't want to go next. You know, I'm like, okay, easy. You established a super dope melody in the verse and super dope chorus. And I'm just like, okay, it's easy really to build a song when the song conceptually, you know, kind of has this idea and identity. So, so it was easy. He was like, man, help me out. You know, what, what can I do from this point? So I just said, man, bro, I need to go up. <laughs> we need to find a way to make this a chant and anthem, you know? So I took the file, you know, and I dumped it in my session. So I started developing what he already conceptually written. And I was like, okay, how can I marry these two? You know, so I started at the bridge. There was power. You know, I started right there. That's why I started conceptually, you know, uh, developing the song from that point. You know, so I went from there. Big one. You know what I'm saying? Like, make it open, make it feel like, okay, something is about to happen right now. So that was like my whole thing, taking it from the last chorus. Okay, what's next? A big one says... Okay, something is about to happen. I don't really know what, but that one is probably staple for, you know, our churches right now because it, it really speaks a language and it sets something up in your songs and in your services. You know, everybody going to the one, you know. So so we did that, man. So, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of break down, you know, conceptually, you know, what I heard because he talked about real big drums, you know. So I'm like, okay, Tom's. So I'm like, Tom's, okay, cool. So how can I do that? You know, how can I make Tom's just from a regular kit feel bigger? You know, so I'm going to open up my session and I'm going I'm to, you know, kind of lay out, you know, kind of how I felt I needed to, you know, describe this song and really kind of help paint the picture. So, all right, so I am a big drum head. Like, I love, I love drums. Like, I think uh, every keyboard player started on drums. So it's